where or how to sell the livestock that you want to sell, but how you're going to get the best results or what to expect for different platforms. So obviously I am a rabbit raiser for the most part. I raise chickens as well, but we're, you can use this for anything, whether it's cattle or um, goats or anything. So I want you to just pay attention <laughs> and associate it with whatever animals you do. I'm going to obviously use rabbits as an example because that be a man profession. Where are you going to sell them and what can you expect per, pla per platform? The first thing that you need to be clear on is one, the price that you want to get and how fast you want them to go is going to affect what you know, what you can ask, the platform you should try and list them, but also who is most likely to buy them. Um, you know, just slapping a price on a certain animal is not going to necessarily work. If you ask for a hundred dollars for a mixed breed rabbit, people are just going to laugh and scroll on by, right? So, you know, you cannot expect to get certain prices because that's what you want. You have to figure out what the market is first and then go and do your listing. Get good pictures. That is going to change the game when it comes to the speed of sale, as well as what you can ask. I cannot tell you, and it drives me bonkers, how many times I will see people list an animal for sale and it's still in like a messy pen or like for rabbits, they'll leave them in the cage and not get them out and set them on a table or something along those lines, right? They will just snap a picture and post it. Like, like no, like n you're gonna be at the bottom of the totem pole when you do that. Present well, okay? All right, the first group of places that are going to be the least amount of time investment. So this is more for the people who, I don't encourage like, oh, let's just try it out um, and see if we liked having a litter or whatever, um, or kind of like the oops litters or the oops breedings, things like that. These things are going to be like Craigslist, Pet Finder, eBay Classifieds, believe it or not. Um, that's where I got my St. Bernard from. And an actual bulletin board. This, let this be more of a high traffic store. Um, we, we have a tractor supply in two, one each in two local towns. One tractor supplies bulletin board is way in the back by the bathrooms. And the other one is in the center of the feed supply section. That's the one you want to put your ad on, right? Um, I really don't encourage, you know, printed things anymore. Um, but there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with that. It's not going to harm you, um, to, to give it a try. You can also do things like Facebook groups that are specific to your breed. And I would, I would push location as well. Um, a good example of what I'm <laughs> meaning is that you can find a lot of French lap groups. However, there is one that is England specific. Um, and so you'll see a lot of people like it's just largely a lot of questions in there. Um, and you could like for a while post that they were for sale. Um, but if they're too far away, it's not gonna help you much. So at least try your, your breed plus the state. And then if there's nothing that really comes up with that, do your breed East coast, West coast, things like that. All right, let's break them down a little bit. Pathfinder is going to get you a little bit higher ticket. However, it could take a lot longer and, um, the caliber is more pet, not like showers are not going to go to that. Right. Um, we did once do puppies on it and it did work. It was okay. Um, and they do have a free option, but their features are pretty limited. Craigslist, I think does okay, but they are the deal finders place. You're not going to get high ticket on there. Um, expect to be dickered with if you post something on there. Um, that is great for chickens or other livestock. Um, I will warn you that it's, it's become very like bot spammed. It doesn't matter what you list or when, if you list it within the first 30 minutes to an hour, you're going to get texts of people saying like, click this link 
so I can confirm that you're a real person. I want this. They're offering you more than you listed it for. It's a bot. Don't fall for it, okay? Don't click anything that anyone sends you. If they want to buy your thing, they will come to you and get it. No human confirmation required. Don't fall for it, okay? I actually have had the fun of just arguing back and forth with them sometimes. It's, it's a little bit fun. Depending on the price that you list things for though, Craigslist could get things sold for you fairly quickly and people go to that website with the intention to buy, okay? Um, so it will work, uh, you know, for, for speed if you are willing to take a cut. eBay classifieds, it's very, it's not very well known. Um, it's another one that if you're in a big rush to try and sell something, then put it out on all the places, right? Um, just be ready to go back and take them down. There's nothing more annoying than like coming out and finding that something's been up there for a month and the person just didn't take it down. The bulletin board thing, like I kind of already alluded to, depending on where you put it, it can work. But don't waste your time on the places that, like I said, one of our local tractor supply stores, it's back by the bathrooms and like not by the high traffic space. So don't waste your time with that. Um, it's not a, like, it's just not going to work. Like think logically, like how many people, what's the traffic? <laughs> what's the traffic going to do for me here? Facebook groups. I like them. I do. Um, however, you have to be very, very careful how you word things because Facebook, this really does go against Facebook's terms of service. They don't want you to like outright sell things there. They want you to, um, oh, like yeah, you just got to be careful how you word it. Okay. I had to move over a little bit because the sun was just going to be in my eyes here any minute. I've been recording all morning and the sun has finally come up. <laughs> um, so Facebook groups, um, they work. You could potentially get some flack. Um, like people are not afraid to share their opinions. Um, if you are posting a rabbit or something like that, I would highly, highly, highly encourage you to take it out of the living area. Don't post it on the wire if you can't emotionally deal with the crap that people will, you know, post in the comments as well. Um, but they do very well for selling livestock. <laughs> Just if you want to post something, put as much information as possible, but um, put the price either in emojis or um, don't use the words for sale. Use things like looking for a new zip code. Um, what else have I seen people do? Oh, I have also encouraged people in my um, Profitable Backyard Farm eBooks and the Rabbitry Playbook um, to make an image with the price in the, in the image itself. Like um, either use text and put it on there um, I think like doing a screenshot and writing it on the image is kind of tacky, um, but I've seen that as well. All right, I want to give you some more tips on how to do it long term. If you've decided that you want to sell livestock and you want it to last longer than just a season or something like that, you don't want one-off sales, you need to do platforms that are your own. So the first one that I would recommend starting with for any kind of livestock or a farm page is a Facebook page. Um, it's as much as we don't like Facebook's antics and things like that, Facebook is still very, very popular. The reason I like it more than Instagram, even though they're up there <laughs> in popularity is because people are more forgiving for one to the farm life of things. They're a little bit more against it um, on Instagram. They want to see the pretty. They want to. They're not as realistic or in touch with the real life of animals, right? So, Facebook a Facebook page will do much better for any kind of farm sales of of any kind. Um, I still like Facebook a lot for my businesses. I think an Instagram account is second best because if you are going to be selling to people who are also could be pets. I have a dual market bucket, so I can sell to like homesteaders and, and farmers and things like that because my breed is, it is a meat breed even though it grows slower, but I can also sell to showers and then I can also sell, and I do sell a lot to pet people who just want a French lot for a pet. Um, and so in that instance, if your target market is going to be people who are 
want one for a pet, then Instagram would be a good um, place to start. However, you have to be aware that you need to present in a different way. I am a wholehearted believer in creating a website to sell any kind of livestock that you are going to continually raise. Um, I don't think you have to do paid. I had a free website for a very long time and it served me well. Um, I used it to get found in search. It worked. People reached out to me through that a lot more often. The reason being, I think, is because it shows authority. People have to trust you and know that you know what you're talking about. Um, they're going to be more likely to come to you if they can read about you, see the real life, you know, show them, show them all the things, right? <laughs> um, you know, give them tips, give them your line in the sand statements, give them the things that you believe are true and the way that you raise your animals. Like I have some hard lines that I will not budge off of. Um, things like my rabbits are still on wire. I believe that is fully the more healthier way to raise them. Um, things like I don't believe that rabbits need a buddy or a, a another rabbit. They will fight. Um, things like that. So I make those things very, very clear on my rabbitry pages on my website. Okay. Um, I also create content like blog posts for people just who are researching rabbits and need care information for one that gives me something for me to give them when they ask the questions because some things are going to be a thousand words so i can't send them all that information in a message and they're going to get a lot more good information if i have those things to send them but then also people find me that way as well all right and then some quick tips that i'm going to run through you have the places that would be best for selling but there are again like i said you you need to present yourself in a certain way if you want to get even a decent amount of money or not have to deal with people haggling you. <laughs> so clean the appearance. Do not, you know, take a picture of a in the dark with cobwebs in the barn with, you know, poor lighting. Um, that will help you. That's their first impression of you. That's going to be their first like, do I click and check this person out kind of thing. Provide multiple ways for people to contact you. My cell phone number is off limits these days, um, but that is because I have a large enough reputation that people are, um, you know, like it, it, doesn't, it doesn't hurt me not to. However, I do have a second app that gives me a second phone number. So Google Voice is very, is a good option to get you a second number. It does work off your phone data. So your phone data has to be on for the messages to come through but it does store them. Um, my dog is up and walking around, so sorry for the clacking. Um, <laughs> but I, I do have that as a second option, right? Email, um, your Facebook business page messenger. Um, there is a way to find that link and have people tap that and be able to contact you that way. Allow for text. You don't have to respond right away. Um, you know, if you're working or whatever. The quicker you respond, you, you will get better sales though. Be confident in your let's make a deal um, behavior. Or if you're not willing to take a lower price, say so. Don't be bullied. I have been pushed <laughs> um, and it's taken a long time for me to learn to, you know, stand up to those people. Um, but it's, if you come across confidently and just nix it, then they will respect that for you. But you have to be okay with, maybe they will say no. Um, I do remember a few times when I said no and they still bought. And so be willing to say no and you could still end up with the amount, the amount that you want, okay? Um, treat it like a business, not a hobby. Do not come at it with the impression or the um, feeling or the air of it being a hobby because in that instance you're going to take it a whole lot more seriously and you're going to market more in that way and then lastly how you're going to get more information and honestly less messages <laughs> is provide as much information as possible don't just say here's my rabbit buy it um or here's this goat or this chicken buy it it's for sale for this much like put as much detail and information as you can um you know 
for people are willing to pay for information and so the more you can tell and the more professional your your I don't want to say caption, but the body of the information is, the more people are going to be willing to buy from you because for one, you appear more um, concerned or like you care enough to know the information um, and you're just more skilled at what you do, okay? So I hope that was helpful for you to figure out where to sell things and how you will get a little bit more information or more, um, more sales <laughs> um, and more income that way.